Right, that's all the seed we'll need. So, let's get planting. Yeah! Just think, every little seed is going to go into a tall stalk of wheat. Well, not every seed. The birds are quite keen on them for their breakfast. But the scarecrow will scare them away, won't it? That? Uh, I don't think so. Mm, you might be right. I don't think that scarecrow could frighten a panicky sparrow. Mind you, I did make Sam there more than five years ago. Poor old thing. All the straws coming out of your head. And your arm's broken. Hey! Why don't we make a new one? Yeah, and we could get Mum to help. She's really good at making things. <laughs> Not a bad idea. Last year the birds must have eaten about half my seed. Come on, let's get finished here and then go and get your mum. That's it. Plenty of straw to make a nice fat scarecrow. Mum, that papier-mâché head of his, won't it go all soggy when it rains? Not when I've painted it and given it a couple of coats of varnish. There, all full up. He's going to need something to wear. I'll nip back to the farm and see what I've got for him. See you later. Until you see what Mum's done. It's brilliant! There. What do you think, Stan? My word. It's very lifelike, isn't it? <laughs> Funny. <laughs> it reminds me of someone. Um... <laughs> it's you, Stan. <laughs> it looks just like you. I hope you don't mind, Stan. Mind? It's brilliant. Time to get him dressed, I reckon. Stan? Ian! Oh, I need a spot of help sowing my fields, and I was wondering. Oh, Stan! Mother, just Stan not to be here when I need him. Most inconsiderate. Hm. Just have to go and see if Stump is in a more helpful frame of mind. Well, little red tractor, what do you make of my twin brother? Right, you two. Dad will be back from his run soon, and he'll be wanting his lunch. Perhaps you'd like to come too, Stan. That'd be great. We can leave our scarecrow to guard the field. Well, that's what he's for, after all. Hang on, Bob. Are we going to go in Little Attractor's trailer? You can if you like. Bit dusty for me. We'll all walk. It's not far. See you in a bit, Little Red Tractor. Keep them peeled, scarecrow. Hello there, Stan. Little Red Tractor. <laughs> Oh, a lovely day for it. Running, I mean, and anything else for that matter. Something you could do for me, Stan. <sighs> Mrs. is expecting me back for lunch. I know the kids are coming to give you a hand. <laughs> well, that's what they said. So when you take her back, let Laura know I won't be around for it. <laughs> lunch. <laughs> Still got a few more miles to put in. Thanks. Right. No, sorry, Stan. Can't stay to chew the fat. <clears throat> Must run. <laughs> Ah, Stan, there you are. I was wondering if you might help me sow some seed. Quite a big field, as you know, so, um, would that be in order? Uh, help, that is. You helping me. Would that be in order? Stan! Well, if you won't help me, I'll find someone who will. Hello. What's Mr. Jones doing here? Hmm, wonder if he was looking for me. Better go and find out. No, I'm sorry, Mr. Jones. Stumpy's out on that nipper of his at the moment. Well, really, of all the inconsiderate... Stumpy wasn't to know that you were going to call. Hello there, Elsie. Hello, Mr. Jones. I saw you back there near Top Acre. And... Ah, talking to me now, are you? Well, I'm not talking to you. Where I come from, ignoring people is considered to be extremely bad manners. Eh? Hey? Hello, all. Just a little further to go and then a quick sprint home. She'll be back in time for supper. I think Mrs Turvey was expecting you back for lunch. She was wondering where you'd gone. You mean you didn't give her the message? Uh, what message? You mean you didn't tell her? Oh, crumbs. Mrs T isn't going to be pleased with me. Not pleased at all. Better get on and make me peace. Not like you to forget something important like that, Stan. Not like you at all. You're acting very strangely today, Stan. Very strangely indeed. Me? 
Hello there, Stan. Lovely weather. <laughs> Keep your eyes on the road, eh, Stumpy? And I don't mind telling you, Stan, that you've gone down in my estimation. Good day to you. Listen. <laughs> What'd I do? Search me, Stan. Hi, Stan! Stan! How did you get here? Oh, dear. Not again. Stumpy? Well, I don't know how you did it, Stan, but I've got to hand it to you. It was a clever trick. Trick? What? How do you mean? I saw you back there in Top Acre not more than a couple of minutes ago. No sign of Little Red Tractor. So... How'd you both get here so fast? We didn't. I... I... <laughs> uh, Stumpy? Uh, yes, Dan? What was I doing when you saw me in the field? Well, not a lot. Just standing there. <laughs> oh, Stumpy! That was a scarecrow! A sc... A scarecrow? But it, it looked just like you! Hey, I wonder if Mr. Turvey asked my scarecrow to pass on the message about lunch. And... Oh, no! That'll be why Mr. Jones thought I was ignoring him. Oh, dear. I'd better go and find him to explain before he explodes. Yes, he did seem pretty cross. Bye, Stumpy. See you later, Elsie. How did he get back here so quick? What the... <laughs> oh, bother! Mr Jones? Mr Jones? Are you all right? <sighs> well, just about. No thanks to you. Stan, what is going on? Why are you playing these foolish games? I'm not, Mr Jones. I think you might have been fooled by my new scarecrow. But... 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 I, but... 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 A scarecrow. <clears throat> it, uh, mm -hmm. it seems I might just have made a small mistake. One small mistake, and quite a big one. Big Blue's going to take some rescuing from that ditch. Still, I reckon Little Red Tractor's up to it. <laughs> OK, Little Red Tractor, let's go. Steady, Stan. Come on. Heave. That's it, Little Red Tractor. Another big heave. Stan, that rope, it's... It's a... <sighs> no harm done. Thanks, Stan. Thank you, Little Red Tractor. Oh, I'll be doing me a big favour if you just come along with me and tell Laura about how you forgot to give her the message. I did the same thing last week. Went on one of my runs, forgot about lunch, Mrs T, none too happy. So if I... Don't worry. I'll explain. Stan? But... What I... Stan? I think you must have asked my new scarecrow to take the message. <laughs> oh, I imagine that. Scarecrow. Well, well. Uh, see you, Stan. Mr... Uh... Well... It's a little too late for any help with seed sowing today, Stan. But perhaps you could help me tomorrow. Be glad to, Mr Jones, wouldn't we? And perhaps we could ask Mrs Turvey to make you a scarecrow as well. Um, yeah, I don't think so, Stan. That scarecrow of yours has caused quite enough trouble for one day. <laughs> Hi, Walter. Ooh, uh, 114, 115. Practicing for the farm games this afternoon. Wait, exercise can't get enough. Mad for it, I am. And a one. You need to be careful, Walter. Exercise is good, but in moderation. Not for someone at their peak. Mm, not bad. But don't you think they're a bit light? I suppose my arms are pretty strong from working on the. Walter? Yeah. What about number two, 
Shouldn't you be on number two by now? No. One's enough, Stan. No point overdoing it. Now, are you after some diesel? Well, it couldn't be simpler. You set your speed here, you switch it on here, and presto. Excellent, excellent. I told Water and Stumpy that I was fitter than both of them, and now <laughs> I shall be. Can I have a go? Be my guest. However, as an expert in the field of human fitness, I would heartily recommend that... <laughs> you read the instructions first? Hello, Stan. All ready for the games this afternoon? Yes, I think so. Hello? What's that? Ah, oh, yes, this is the new and improved walking machine. An easy way to exercise without moving from the spot. Is it safe? Oh, quite safe. But to understand health, one has to understand safety too. This new machine gives an all-over workout that is gentle and easy to use. I can see that. Ah, splendid. You are right, Mr. Turvey. Excellent exercise. Are you OK? Take it from me, Stan. A few brisk miles on one of these really gets the muscles moving. <laughs> I think one or two people may be taking these farm games far too seriously. Hello? Oh, hello, stop. What, again? OK, I'm on my way with Little Red Tractor. Another one of those old dead trees has fallen and blocked the lane through Heron Wood. I'd better go and move it. Oh, how embarrassing. I can't believe I made such a complete fool of myself. Oh, no harm done. These things take a bit of getting used to. <laughs> I remember once I... I know. I'll get to Heron Wood first and show Stan some real muscle. Come on, Big Blue. We can get there first. I know a shortcut. Wow! It looks great, Mum. Yes. I think we've all done very well. Mum! Amy! Watch me! Ugh. Well, that wasn't very good. I bet you couldn't do any better. I could. Now, now. It's bad enough that the grown-ups are being so competitive without you starting as well. Hello, Elsie. What's all that? I thought I'd bring my old nurse's things along. Oh, you know what they're all like. Ah, there it is. You got here first. I came by the shortcut. Me too. Maybe Little Red Tractor is a little faster? Faster? Oh, no, Stan. I don't think so. <laughs> now, let me see. It seems to me this job might need a bigger, stronger tractor, Stan. Do you mind? Be my guest. It's a matter of muscle, you see, Stan. Big Blue here was made for these big jobs. Oh, I don't know. Little Red Tractor is stronger than he looks. <laughs> Perhaps we should have a contest one of these days and see which tractor really is the strongest. Maybe we shall, Mr Jones. Although, I must say, you have done a good job there. It's all about teamwork. A man and his tractor in perfect harmony. Well done, Big Blue. Hey, it'll be time for the farm game soon. We'd better not be late. You know how Mr Turvey likes everything to run on time? True. We'll see you there. And may the best men win. <laughs> OK, Amy, Ryan, you are to be my special helpers for the farm games and I shall be a referee. We need to see fair play and keep everything organised and flowing smoothly. Understood? Yes, Dad. Dad. Oh, not Dad today. Today I am referee. Are we ready for the first event? First event? Throwing the Wellington boot. Good, let's get to it. Competitors, first event is throwing the boot. The competitor stands up here and on the sound of my whistle, throws the boot as far as he can. Clear? Ryan shall measure the distance and the player who throws the boot furthest wins. Number one, please. Three, two, one. <laughs> Fourteen metres exactly! Three, two, one... <laughs> hey, hey! I threw it so far I can't even see it! That's because you threw it the wrong way! Huh? <laughs> oh. Well, I think this means you are disqualified, Walter. OK, Stumpy. Stan's leading. Three, two, one... <laughs> <laughs> 
You're supposed to let go of the boot, Stumpy. One and a half metres. <laughs> Am I winning? Hardly. Now move along and make way for an expert. Oh, splendid! Thirteen metres and eighty centimetres. Second place. Test your strength is event two. First challenger, Stumpy. Stand clear. <laughs> Maximum score for Stumpy. Oh, oh. oh, I don't know my own strength. I think I might have hurt my arm, though. Well, pop along and see Elsie. She'll have a look at it for you. Second challenger, a Walter. Walter, you need a good score here after your poor performance in the boot throwing. Stand back, then. <laughs> Muscles is my middle name. <laughs> Mr. Jones, you're next. You are currently running in second place. Not for long. See when? When you're ready. Here we go, then. Oh, dear. Are you OK? I'm fine. Uh... Look at you. This was supposed to be farm games. I think we should have stuck to a nice, safe board game. We still have one event to go, the tug of war. We can't very well do it now, can we? I think we'll have to cancel the games. We can't do that. The show must go on and all that. How? There is only you and me left. Wait. What about we have the tug of war between Little Red Tractor and Big Blue? Then we can see which tractor really is the strongest. I don't see why not. Excellent, excellent. Well, Stan, are you up for the challenge? All right, you're on. <laughs> start your engines. But do not start pulling until I give the signal. What did he say? Dad, do you want me to measure anything? Stand back, Ryan. Come on, Big Blue. That's the signal. It started, Little Red Tractor. Come on, you can do it. Ooh, nearly! Come on, Big Blue, we've got them! Full power! Oh, no. We're sinking. They're too heavy. We'll, we'll have to ease off the power. Come on, Little Red Tractor. One big pull and we can do it. I can't get full power without us sinking into the mud. One last effort. Little Red Tractor is the winner! Well yeah, well done, Little Red Tractor! Well done, Little Red Tractor. I don't know how you did it, but I'm very proud of you. I am proud to announce that the winner of the farm games is... Little Red Tractor! Yay! Of course, we could have won, but for Big Blue's tyres getting stuck in the mud... Oh, but you won fair and square. <laughs> well done. Thank you. It's like we always say, you don't have to be the biggest to be the best. Hey, Little Red Tractor. 